Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of our uh, Ice Hockey Aussies. Today we've got some breaking trade news. Vladimir Tarasenko finds a new home. New York Rangers have acquired Vladimir Tarasenko and Nico Mikola. In return, the St. Louis Blues receive Sammy Vias. I can't really pronounce his name correctly. Hunter Skinner. <laughs> A 2023 conditional first round pick. Now, the condition on that is that it will be the later of the two first round picks that the Rangers have, which are currently Dallas's first round and their own. So you're going to say with both of those teams projected to go relatively far in the playoffs that it's going to be, you know, high, high 20s, high to mid 20s. And a 2024 conditional fourth round pick. Now, the condition on this is that the Rangers make the playoffs. If they do, it'll be a third round pick. So you may as well swap that to a third round pick. I can't see the Rangers not making the playoffs at this point, especially with this trade. Um, St. Louis also retains 50% of Tarasenko's salary. Uh, That was a big piece in this because otherwise the Rangers would not have been able to fit him within the cap limit. Um, obviously Tarasenko is the, the main talking piece on this. Um, and I'll start with my thoughts on the trade, but one of the things I want to start with is actually Nico Mikola, obviously not a massive talking point, but he does fill a big need for the New York Rangers as that defensive defenseman, probably on the third line might creep onto the second line to help out one of the more uh, attacking, um, D men. Um, but still, it they, they they haven't really found that sixth defenseman this year. It's been one of the areas that they've they've needed, and they fill it um, with this trade. He's a very solid defensive D man, um, and I think he will help them on that blue line. Um, in my opinion, I I love this trade for the Rangers. I I think this boosts them straight into cup contender territory. I know a lot of people are talking about Vladimir Tarasenko falling off a bit this year, but let's be honest, the whole St. Louis Blues team has. He's had a couple of injury concerns, but this guy, make no mistake, is a 30-plus goal scorer on many occasions, and he's shown up in playoffs, and he's shown up to be a big playoff player. And he can 100% do that with the New York Rangers. They've got some serious firepower. Um, serious, serious playmakers on their team. Um, and honestly, I'm, I'm quite disappointed for the Blues in, in a sense, um, given the return they got wasn't huge. Um, Sammy Blias is, is probably a fourth liner at best. Maybe he resurrects his career and makes something out of it. Um, Hunter Skinner, fourth round pick back in 2021 i'm not seeing anything major from him so most of this is is built around the the first round pick and what will ultimately be a third round pick in 2024 i get that tarasenko and mikola are probably both rentals for the rangers um but i probably expected a little bit more going back the blues way um especially seeing they threw in mikola in this trade as well yeah, I think you pretty much hit everything. Um, nail on the head there in regards to it. I think that Rangers win this trade. Uh, both are rentals in a sense, but it makes them a cup contender. They are in kind of win now mode. And, you know, when you go for rentals, you look at what you give up. And I don't think they give up anything, honestly. Um, I don't rate Blaze. Um, I don't like Skinner's maybe what, a C or D tier prospect. Um, on the defensive line, you've got a conditional first, but it's going to be a late first, no matter what. Um, so and they've still got another first as well. And they're still, so they're got still going to have first. a first round pick. Yeah. yeah. And then they go in most likely pretty much guaranteed that it's going to be the third round pick that goes in 2024. So they lose nothing basically important that hinders them. Uh, honestly, now and in the future, I don't think. Um, and it, all they've done is make themselves stronger for this year. Um, I know we know they've got to have cap troubles eventually when they have to re-sign all their players. 
Um, but they don't really care about that at the moment because they are in win now mode. Um, yeah, in regards to Mikola, that's the interesting part of it. Is um, that's why I feel like it teeters way more on Rangers' side as they add that extra player that they kind of needed to fill that hole. Um, and you'll know you need depth uh, when it's going into playoffs when you get the injuries and the niggles. And I think Mikola uh, solves that situation perfectly. Tarasenko. His production has dropped off. Um, I don't think it's dropped off as far, but maybe um, I have seen his gameplay drop off a bit in regards to just turnovers and the neutral zone and stuff like that. But I think with a line that he could possibly go on, with like Zabanajad and Panarin or something along those lines with um, Trocek, um, G even Heedle because Heedle has been firing. Like, I feel like his production is just going to go through the roof if he stays healthy. And that is the big question, if he stays healthy. Um, but ultimately, Rangers win the trade. I think Blues should have been able to get more. Um, because I don't think Blaze and Skinner do anything, and all they did is get a first and third round pick. Yeah, yeah, it's um, it's kind of underwhelming from a, a St. Louis's perspective, I think. Um, obviously, they'll... they'll enjoy having another first round pick especially in a deeper draft I think that probably the silver lining there is that yep it is going to probably be a mid-20s pick but oh, potentially a 32 pick if <laughs> if uh, the Rangers go all the way um, but it is in a deeper draft so there, there is still that high chance that they draft a really good player um, plus they've got their own pick um, but yeah, from a Rangers perspective, you've you've got to like it. If you're a Rangers fan, you've you've still got a 2023 first round pick. So maybe they move that for another player. I don't see how they can do that given their um, cap issues. Um, and I think honestly, this this side's pretty much finished. Um, it is very solid lineup. Um, but yeah, it just means that they still get to pick in a deep draft and they keep the better of the two first rounds that they've got. Um, yeah, I just, uh, yeah, hands, hands, you got to give a round of applause to the Rangers um, GM on this one. Uh, people will question Tarasenko's health, obviously, and whether he can stay fit and healthy, but mate, given what they've given up, um, it's a, it's a fantastic return. Um, it's not going to hinder them much and it will overall take them from just outside that contending. I still think they were a true cup contender, but this has just flipped them. And if Tarasenko can find even a slither of his old self going into the playoffs with the side they've already got, oh, it just, it's scary. It's scary to think what the Rangers are going to do. I, and I, for one, have them as, probably one of the biggest contenders up there with um, the likes of Boston, Tampa, Colorado um, at the moment. Yeah, well, it definitely puts them in that perspective. It makes the Metro even that more scary. Uh, you got the mm -hmm. Islanders adding Bo Horvat, Rangers adding Tarasenko, New Jersey and like teams like Carolina are linked to um, other prospects like Maya. Like, it seems the Metro is even getting stronger, and even though it's already strong... Um, so it's really hard to see a Western team win the cup. But that, that's the thing with the playoffs is that one's guaranteed to get to the Stanley Cup final. And then, you know, basically it's 50-50 if you look at it like that. Um, but I think they're going to have a hard run in the playoffs, though, because of how strong the East is. Um, but that's why they needed this depth with uh, the Mikula. I think the Mikula is the really big added part that will go unseen here because it's just the big name of Tarasenko has been moved and they're most likely if things play out the way they are um, will come up against New, Jer New Jersey in the first round and I think that's going to be an electric um, first round playoff game uh, because this team stacked the New Jersey um, teams firing on all cylinders from all lines um, and honestly, it could just be a goalie situation. They, we know that um, their goalie tandem is proven, uh, whereas New Jersey's is a bit untested when it comes to playoffs. So that, they're looking really good. They've added what they needed. I don't know if they 
the GM needs to make any more moves. I think it's pretty much solid. It's just signings now, and they've got to work out their contracts for the future years. And for St. Louis, I I don't know what this pick does, like this trade does. Like it moves Tarasenko. You get something for him. It's great. You also lose uh, Mikola, another uh, rental. Um, but you get a first. It's it's a late first, and that's basically it. Like the third round comes next year. It's not gonna. It's not helping you rebuild anytime soon. And I don't know if this for, this trade fastens the Blues rebuild fast enough. And that's my issue with it. Yeah, I, I mean, I can't really see it having too much um, effect on their rebuild. I mean, Hunter Skinner could become something. He could he could be a real serviceable player down the track, which is good. And he does fit that age um, demographic for a rebuild. Only 21 years old. Um yeah, I I think this is more of a they knew they had to they, they knew they were going to lose both of these players, um, and they took what they could get. Um, it's more I think the the Sammy, the ass uh, Blas or whatever his name I think is, it's Blaise, uh, but yeah, Blaze, yeah. Um, I think that addition is more of a just hit and hope. Like the kid's twenty six, um. If he turns into something awesome, if not, it's not a huge loss. The, the, the return is more on, on what Skinner could become, that first round pick and that, that eventually what will be a third round pick. But yeah, um, it's not a huge return. I think if the Blues can turn it into something, that, that could become the question, um, given that this is a, a, a rental situation for the Rangers. It's not like they're getting any of these players going forward. Um, but yeah, I mean, it could be something that comes out well on both ends. You probably have to wait and see from a blue side of things and how it turns out. Rangers, if they win a cup, they're not going to be upset with what they've handed over. Um, even if they don't win a cup. I, I don't think honest, they're upset I, even if they don't win. <laughs> that's the thing. That's why yeah, it's a good I, trade. I still think they'll be a, a cup contender next year, um, even without Tarasenko in that lineup. Um unless he chooses to re-sign with them for cheap. But again, we said, as we said, they've got some cap issues. Um, but yeah, overall, 100% fantastic trade from New York Rangers, in my opinion. I absolutely love this trade. Um, they wouldn't have got... They wouldn't have gotten Timo Meyer for this return. They would have been sending players like Lafreniere and, you know... Uh, the best first round pick plus other decent prospects. Whereas in this, they get a player that's a proven uh, playoff player. He's a goal scorer um, and it's not costing them a lot at all. And he could potentially win them a cup. He's been there. He's done that. He knows what it takes. He's tough. Um, Yeah. I can't see any negatives from a Rangers point of view. St. Louis Blues, Probably a bit underwhelming for what they got in their return, but overall, if they can turn it into something awesome, they were going to lose these players anyway, so at least they get something. Yeah. Well, like you said, uh, Tarasenko has been to the Cup, uh, shown in that image there. Uh, that's the experience that they are, the Rangers need going into this as well. He's proven in the playoffs. You know, he almost averages um, a goal every two games, so, you know, and a point every... Uh, you know, two out of three. So he's proven in the playoffs. I don't think his down season is as bad as people say, though it is down. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely interested to see where Blues go from here because I don't think this is enough to where they need to go. And I feel like I understand these players were going to get lost, but we've seen time and time again players like Tarasenko and what uh, whatnot. Um, these rentals go for more because they can be re-signed or they can be traded out or something like that at the end. Um, uh, yeah, I've got to give it to the Rangers. I definitely have to see what the Blues do with uh, future trades coming in now. Uh, they've started the um, offload. we have to see how much more they offload now and how much they get for it, because from this trade, I think they've extended their, um, their return to playoffs probably by another year. So they've got to wait one more year um, extra onto their rebuild. That's what I see in this. And I'm 
pretty scared of the Rangers now. I uh, definitely see them probably going into deep into the playoffs at this point, unless uh, they get upset by the rain, uh, the Devils. Sorry. Yeah, it'd have to be one hell of a um, <laughs> of an upset from the Devils. Uh, it, if they do do it, I do think they've got a lot of firepower and they are a fantastic side this year. But that experience from the Rangers' end and that inexperience from the Devils' end is probably definitely is most definitely going to play into the Rangers' hands. So, yeah, I, I I see a deep playoff run for the Rangers this year, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see a Stanley Cup berth. Um, for them, I'm expecting them to at least make the Eastern Conference Finals at minimum from a st louis point of view i'm interested to see now if they do move on ryan o'reilly um and and a couple of the other players who are who are pending ufas yeah um but yeah i mean overall what's your thoughts winners winner or loser uh or is it a 50 50 trade yeah um definitely rangers win that's that's my opinion leave a comment down below if you believe it's a win or loss, um, or if it's 50-50, uh, leave a comment. If you agree or disagree with our points of view, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I guess we'll see you guys next time for any more trade deals or power rankings. Take care, guys. Enjoy.